Yes, everyone. This is the man from Boswick again, Jaboni, the badass. And today I'm going to greet everyone. Today I want to shed some more light on Bob Marley and the tough gang and what tough gang have done to the rest of the entertainers. But before I get that, I want to make it clear that Leonard Percival Owell, who is known as the first Rastaman is on my screen. He was the one that go by the name, the gang. And at one still I think 30 years ago, I registered a company here in England, a security company by the name of Tough Gang. Because as you know, I always run security. So, I mean, at one stage we used the, the gang security, which is my security, used to provide security for Bob Marley, Peter Touch, Greg Reiser, Dennis Brown, and various artists. Now, I come across an article Fear use to this article because, like I said, I'm taking this thing and to another level. Normally, I would be telling you about some things when I hear. So, for example, um, I come across an article with um, one of my senior brethren from Trenchtown, who is Levi Siblis. Yeah, Levi Siblis. I think Levi is around. If I'm not correct, Levi is supposed to be around, around seven years older than me. Because I remember when I was a little boy, the only two artists I remember begging a chopance and a shilling or a sixpence back in the days when he had a little boy. And it's Leroy Sibles and Keith Boy who is Slim Smith. Those are the two artists that I, that I badass, ever remember begging when I see them at Chocomore Land. Normally, I say Leroy up a Cook Street in a little red mini mine, minor. When I see him with a glad because the man they attack man. When me I youth, the man they attack man. Me and my friend them used to like, you know, step to Leroy. And Leroy used to treat us right. So just now I um I come across an article, as a matter of fact, I come across the I see the article, but I never even penetrate the article. But my good bird Jun Warikail. Say, you know, here with Leroy, say. So I say, no, send it come guy. So I'm send it come guy. And I am disturbed to learn that um, Leroy is now going through a crisis. Because it's a crisis. And this crisis stems from Bob Marley. So, Again, if you know what I say, me just a look for Bob Marley issue. Well, I saw it go, cause Bob Marley come at Trench Town, come see we, you know. Yeah, Bob Marley come see we at Trench Town. Me know Leroy and Keaton boy before me know Bob Marley. Yeah. So, these things, is personal to I and I. I'm going to keep telling you so many time I talk, I talk in a personal capacity. Yeah, because I'm a foundation youth and... I have to talk, call it like how I know it. So, let me make a year with Leroy Officer about Bob Marley and him crew. 
it hurt me so much that I can't find words, but, you know, it hurt. Because it's not just hurting me, it hurt everyone. They have taken away the food, tough gang, you know? I've taken away the food out of everyone's mouth. Everyone who is, um, who is signed up officially, right? We have a thing called performing rights, musical. Performing rights is your works that you do. Whenever a radio, any radio play it, right? They're supposed to write that, what time they play that song, and you, you should be able to collect. In Jamaica, you know, Jamaica runs, so. But internationally. And Jamaica's had to do it too. Yeah, that, that, that's your mechanical rights. You know, your, 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 your work is, is your, 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 that you create is, is, is working for you. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Sirius Radio, Sirius Radio is, is, um, internet, is an internet radio, right? That um, it's American, and America have um, millions of listeners. You know? Not like Jamaica, where our, our, our um, society is, is, is small, right? In America, we have millions and millions and millions of listeners in each state, right? And um, as an internet radio, they do the same thing. When they play a song for you, you get paid. They have a lot of... Um, a lot of different stations, you know, but one called The Joint was where they would be playing all Jamaican music, strictly Jamaican music, you know, Jamaican reggae music um, from, from the early days. And from this, it made them a special um, source of income for people in the reggae business, you know? We look forward to this more than, because in Jamaica, right? We, like from, from the 70s, from mid 60s, right? We have people who have been recording. So these people are of age right now. Some, some, some of them can't see, some of them can't walk, right? Some of them, and, 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 and put it this way, not all of these people are able to perform even if they get a chance to even go do all a show. Most of them can't, you know? A lot of them have died, but they still have families who still live and, and, and um, expect to live from, from these earnings. This station that we're talking about, it's the joint from Sirius. It's, it's a major. Everyone, look, like myself too, you know? Yearly, we would, like every quarter, they, they, they pay out, right? And it used to be significant, you know, to each of us. Uh, and now, what Tough Gong has done, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's, um, it really hurts, you know? And it, it, it hurts everyone in the business, you know? When Bob Marley was singing songs of freedom, if Bob Marley was here, he would not do what, what Tough Gong um, administrators have done. Bob would not have done that. But Bob did not leave a written statement and tell him to do that. Bob, if Bob was here, this would not happen, you know? But we have people who are doing this administration. They have no love for others but themselves alone. It hurt me so much that I can't find words, but, you know, it hurt. Because it's not just hurting me, it hurt everyone. They have taken away the food, tough gang, you know? I've taken away the food out of everyone's mouth. You tell me? Because what they did, they, they, they sat there and realized that this was a, 
a little mean of earning for for reggae people. That this this the joint was making money for all of its uh, the, the whole reggae fraternity. You know what I mean? And they selfishly went and and took that away from us and put just Bob Marley music right there. Which is not hurting just us alone either too, you know. It's hurting everyone who loves reggae music too, you know. Because when you could go on your radio as a person, turn on your radio and, and hear all form of reggae music, no, no, you're 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 projected to one thing. Bob Marley and his content. You know? That put a major dent in the business. You know? And not just financially, you know, but even spiritually, because you drive down the road and you turn on your radio and turn on the joint, you could be listening to any and everybody in the business. You understand? Yeah. This is, this is what I'm calling red eye, co-viciousness. Bob Marley, um, tough gun, um, business. They make millions of dollars without touching the joint every year. Bob Marley or Tough Gang, whichever way we want to. We should say Tough Gang, because Bob is not here. Tough Gang music. Tough Gang is, is um, music. Right? Makes millions of dollars of royalties every year without touching this little thing that we are going for us. The people in the business of who sang all these songs, um, I know Bob Marley alone did that work within all that time and to make reggae music what it is. All these people that talk about John Holt, Alta Nellis, the, the, the bigger head from back that then. John Holt, Alton Ellis, um, Ken Booth, Delroy Wilson. These are the, these are the people who, 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 through hunger and famine and everything, man, create all these, these music too, you know, to help to make this big business an established business, this music business. And not, and, and not just, you know, one person thing, you know? And, and we were not fortunate, all these people, Dennis Brown, and they, they have passed away, but they, they have children still. Like Bob have him children, them have children too. Them have mouths they left to feed too, you know? And when you come selfishly and do that and take, yeah man, it, it's greed. Red eye and bad mind and, and no feelings. Fathers, you know? And what they've done, they've put a dent in the name of Tough Gang. When Tough Gang to the world was meant, what, what, what Bob Marley wanted it to mean was hopefulness, you know, no, joy, yeah, you know? You know, prosperity, all the goodness, all the positive things. They have put a negative dent right now on the name of Tough Gang. Yeah, you know, because all of these people, they're suffering right now because of that. That's a major feeling thing that they don't take away, major food. And you know what I'd like to, before I go, what I'd like to know, because Bob have left some kids who are into music too. Them sing, and I'd like them to do an interview or an interview of them and hearing what they have to say about this. I'd love to hear their input on this issue. Yeah, man, you know? Yeah, man, it's a disgrace on the name of Tough Gang. Bob Marley did not want this. This is not a part of Tough Gang's legacy. That should have been there. And until they clear this up, and they need to do it now. 
They need to do that now, you know? Because they don't need this. We need this more than them, you know? You don't take business, man, and corrupt the lives. Because what they've done, what they've done, they've, they've, made, a, they've made themselves a part of Babylon right now. A part of oppression. Depression.